would you want a best day ever patch on that backpack? Yes. No. no. You don't. You don't want a best day ever patch. I, mean, I do want to have best days ever, but. Everybody. Welcome to the Fresh Bake. This is the best edition of Bake Fresh Daily. I am your host, David, and I'm here with Ian. And we're trying to climb into this omnibus. We're going to start this show in a hurry. We're starting the show in a hurry. We're going to get on this omnibus, Ian. Well, as promised, uh, we're picking this show up. Your eyes do not deceive you, Fresh Bake. We are. I zipped my jacket. I'm not wearing this. It's a whole new outfit? Yeah, I totally did an outfit change. You're seeing this on Monday, even though it's. Uh, I, I, th I think it's Monday. Well, it's got to be Monday, right? Because we ended the show. That's what's way up to you. Uh, it's Monday, but we're not here. This is, we're, we, we're actually continuing our show from last week a little bit. It, it is still December 22nd. It is. Oh, yes, 22nd. Ian, do you know what day it is right now? On the show, or are we have for real? For real. December 22nd. No, I'm sorry. On the show, yeah. But you just said Monday. Huh? You just said Monday. Right, so... But that means not the next this coming Monday, but the Monday after. New Year's Eve, actually. Yeah, that one. Right? The 24th is yes. Monday, so the 31st is... Yes, so yes. I do calendar math. <laughs> Welcome aboard the Disneyland Omnibus. For your safety, please keep all arms, hands, legs, and feet inside the bus. Please stay seated at all times. Parents and guardians supervise the children. Make sure they are fully seated for their own safety. And with those two toots of our magic horn and a few happy thoughts, we are now on our way. On my right, there's my good pal Goofy. And on the other side of the Opera House, well, there, there's Minnie Mouse. And on my far right, way over there in the corner, that's my boss, the big cheese himself, Mickey Mouse. My name is Matt, and I'll be your handsome and charming driver today. <laughs> By now, I'm sure you've noticed the Disneyland Christmas tree. The tree stands 60 feet high with a three-foot high star up on top. It has over 2,000 ornaments and over 10,000 lights. And the total weight of the decorated tree is 12 tons. Wow. And it took me almost an hour to decorate that tree, and I hope <laughs> you all appreciate that. We're all headed down Main Street, USA. Main Street here at Disneyland was designed to show you what small town America was like over a century ago. It was modeled after Walt Disney's boyhood hometown of Marceline, Missouri, although Walt Disney was born in Chicago, Illinois. If you look at both the left and right-hand sides of the street, or better yet, up on the sidewalk, you'll notice these gas lanterns. And because of the holiday celebrations, the gas lanterns have a wreath attached to them. Walt Disney purchased those gas lanterns from the city of Baltimore for three cents a pound. Baltimore was selling those gas lanterns for scrap metal because the city was making the transition from gas to electricity to illuminate their main streets. Disney felt the gas lanterns were at just the right touch of atmosphere and ambiance to turn of the century main street. During the early days of Disneyland, they had a lamp lighter who would go from one gas lantern to another and light each by hand. Now, of course, they keep them fully illuminated 24 hours a day. The gas lanterns here on Main Street are now over 200 years old. Well, you may not believe me when I tell you this, but one of the very first shops here on Main Street when the park opened was a lingerie shop. That's right, a lingerie shop. And if you look to my right, the only shop on Main Street that has a front porch, that at one time was the lingerie shop. And while the women were inside shopping for personal items, the men could sit on the front porch and check their Facebook status or something. <laughs> Just last week, Disneyland interviewed all seven of Snow White's seven dwarves, and you know what they found out? Six of the seven dwarves were not happy. <laughs> Coming up on my left are the entrances to Adventureland, Frontierland, Critter Country, New Orleans Square, through the castle and adjacent to the castle are the entrances to Fantasyland and Toontown, and coming up on my right, the entrance to Tomorrowland. Christmas Fantasy Parade at 3.30 and 6 o'clock this afternoon, fireworks at 9.30. Please keep in mind the fireworks show is always dependent upon the wind conditions at that time. We are coming to the end of our run here today. I want to thank you all for choosing to ride on the Omnibus, for discovering the joy of motoring. Make sure you have all of your personal items, and most importantly, please stay fully seated until the bus comes to a complete stop. Thank you. the limo driver, Matt, the omnibus driver, go. mentioned that, uh, that Main Street was designed after Marceline, Missouri, or inspired by Marceline, Missouri, I should say. Do you think that that's what Marceline looked like in 1915, all those people on that street that we saw there? Turn of the century. Oh, hey. Good hey, guys. 
That was doubtful. I was just messing around. There's, that's a lot of people on Main Street, man. I don't know how they don't run oh, over half that's them. That's used to be in terms of people. Yes. No, no, definitely not. Definitely not. Against my better judgment, I think I want to take you and this camera into the Westward Ho Trading Company to find out what's new at Pins. I say that because there's a lot of people in there. <laughs> there's, there's people in there. It's tough to negotiate this place sometimes, especially when you're wearing a backpack. It's a little cute just to go inside right now. Okay. Uh, we, we found it. We found what's new. Ian. A Baymax donut. Yeah. Why is it a donut? Because it's, there's it's this part of the donut shop series. They do one a month where they take a character and make him a donut. Or a I'm a donut. I, I believe it opens up. But is it jelly filled? Do you open I, don't, it? I don't know. That, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure at least one of the ones they've done have. Look at these, they got some anniversary ones. Yeah, 45th Robin Hood anniversary and 55th Sword in the Stone. Robin Hood is a very underrated animation, in my opinion. Sword in the Stone, I think we talked about this. What's going on in that movie? No, yeah, there's not a whole lot of plot. It doesn't really have an ending, it just stops. Yeah, but, it's but a, I still like it. That was we were talking to Evan. It's like it's it's 80 minutes of of montage, training montage, and then the movie's over. Yeah, I still enjoy it. I know. Yeah. Uh, and then Robin Hood, of course. Yeah, and then uh, the JM and EB limited edition for Lady and the Tramp. I don't know. I don't know what those. Are. I feel like those. Is that oh, the owners, maybe? You know what? I think those are that's probably in the movie. That's no. Well, no. I don't. There's the owners because we're that's just they just call each other Jim Deer and Darling. Oh, yeah. So that's those are their names. You know, those, yeah. those are really just yeah. terms of endearment. Yeah. But and then you got a. Uh, oh yeah. I guess is that yeah. Jungle or uh, Jungle, Jungle Book? Oh yeah. yeah. That's yeah. a and series of big pins they've been doing. I noticed these. This I like this a lot actually. This is a who's the leader in the of the club? Pin. Parking to the Mickey Mouse Club, of course. Who is the leader of the club? Uh, M I C K E Y M O U S E. Uh, and who's it made for? You and me. Both of us? Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Love it. Um, I've seen that one before, haven't I? The, yeah, these Ralph ones came out around. Yeah. Came out. What is this? Is this new? Yeah. It's, it's in the What's New. It is. Well, but that's not new. Uh -huh, yeah, I've seen Newer. That. They're new within the last couple of months. What's that? That? That is not no. Swoop Riding Pirate. It's Enfys Nest. I was going to say, that looks like... What's yeah. her name? Yeah, yeah that's Enfys Nest. Yeah. That's not new. Oh, How dare you? Yeah, I want to start a petition. How about a, uh, a GoFundMe to rebuild Skull Rock somewhere in this park? What's your favorite character? I mean, Disney won't do anything. But. Oh yeah, they also they do patches now. I was just gonna say we're we're outside and yeah, so I guess, I, the yeah, patch thing. Yeah, yes, we haven't covered this. They do patches now. Oh, well, I thought they were just doing it like limited, but uh, apparently it's a thing now. Yeah. Right. Big old patches. And... So you buy patches now, and you can either they're either. Uh, well, can you stitch these? You could. But it, but they are just stick on, right? Yeah. Removal and reapplication will diminish the adhesive patch. Yeah, so you technically just stick it and take it off, but it's not going to stick again. At that, right. At that point, you would need to sew it. What do you think about this, Ian? I don't see anything wrong with it. Is it better than pins? I mean, it depends. What would you what would you put on a shirt? What would you put on your backpack? You could put on a jacket or a backpack. A jacket or a backpack, yeah. I kind of like this. I have my, this like Star Fox patch I stuck on mine. Oh, that? Yeah. Oh, okay. So that wasn't on there no, originally. I, oh. No. I, but they gave that out at WonderCon several years ago. Yeah. And I was like, hey, I'll put it on. Now I got a Star Fox patch on my bag. There you go. All right. You, would you want a best day ever patch on that backpack? Yeah. No. no. You don't. You don't want a best day ever patch. I, mean, I do want to have best days ever, but I don't care for the design of patch. No. You don't like pink and purple. No, it's just, I don't, I don't care so much for design. Yeah, uh, I do want to have this though on my backpack. Famous? Do you want people to know you went to MU though? That well, could, no, that I want, I want, I want uh, okay. I want to, I want to rep that Still, prep. Be, that could actually could look good on a backpack. It would look good, yeah. And then you got just some other random stuff. You got to be, you got a mouse, or a mouseketeer patch. Ohana. What does Ohana mean? Family. And no one wants to get left behind. Oh, okay. Well, the tiki gods smiling upon us 
let's hope. Because what we're going to try to do next is ride, well, we're going to go to the Tiki Room, but also ride the Jungle Cruise. We're going to try to see if we can bracket our coverage of Tropical Holiday. Tropical the, Holiday? What did I say? You said holiday. I, I did. Yep. <laughs> Tropical Hideaway. Uh, maybe I was merging that with Jolly Holiday. I don't know. If you see a wandering Damien, let us know. Yes, yeah, so we're, we're also trying to find Damien, but uh, I mean, we won't hear you, but still, you know, do like Blues Cruise. There's Damien. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Well, it's, we're walking on though, so I guess I guess we're doing this. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Jungle Cruise it is. Tours are departing in 30 minutes. Oh, not well daily also. I don't think it takes a whole day. I hope not. No. I, I do have plans. I do have plans also. You know, this being oh shoot. Yeah, this being New Year's Eve and all. Right, right. Well in that case no, I don't have plans. Happy I, New Year's. I sit home and do nothing. <laughs> ah, that's so true. You know where we'll be? Right you know where we are right now, Ian? Uh, at my computer. No. Right now. We are in the city of Bayou in France. You. you said we, so therefore I thought you were quoting me. Well, yeah, okay, my bad. You know where Liz and I are? We're going to these boats right here. In the city of Bayou, possibly enjoying a tour of Normandy Beach. Ooh. Yeah. I don't know what time it is where you are right now, but that's on our agenda. Hey, look, we can sneak a peek into the tropical hideaway. Oh, it's open. That's our view now. What a buzzkill that was that day they took that, or they put that scrim up. I was saying it was quite a buzzkill when they put that scrim up. I was prepared to ride Jungle Cruise every week to see. Like, no. no. <laughs> Fresh bait, we know what you're up to. What is happening? There goes the Orinoco Adventures.
great news though, that truck it wouldn't start today, but it looks like they got the turnover. Uh, for now we're gonna hang a right though. Yeah, there you go. Alright, there we are. Yeah, that was close. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna make a right though. We're gonna go down the Nile River. Longest river in the entire world, alright? Stretches for over 4,000 miles. Um, I have a shortcut though, so it's only gonna take us a few minutes, okay? <laughs> Yeah, look at all these animals up here. We got a whole bunch of stuff. Check it out. We got zebras right there with the stripes. Yeah, way in the back, those are giraffes. On the right here, we've got uh, 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 those. <laughs> yeah, yeah, look at these lions. Yeah, check out the lions. They're having their favorite. Yeah, oh yeah, those are the most feared animals of all time, right there. The uh, allard duck. It's called a sculpture. Yeah, look at these guys though. Looks like they're having some kind of celebration. Yeah, let me see if I can translate what they're saying for you. Uh, I don't know. Uh, let's just get out of here. Oh yeah, look over here on your left. Check this out. We've got lots more videos for you to see, so grab a churro and check out some of our other videos and have your mind blown by how much fun we're having. We truly are the best of Disney Bake Fresh Daily. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time. Fresh Baked!